Member of Parliament for Salaga South, Haji Azuera Ibrahim, has expressed frustration over the disregard for the deteriorating roads in the East Gonja municipality of the Savannah region by the incumbent government. During a recent inspection tour, the legislator didn't mince words describing the hazardous roads as death traps that put the lives of residents and commuters at risk daily. There's more in the following report. Like many rural settings of the country, residents of Salaga South constituency have been grappling with underdevelopment, with deplorable roads being a major concern. Potholes, cracks and erosion have turned transportation into a daily struggle, leading to accidents and severely impacting the livelihoods of the people in the region. In response, the Member of Parliament for the area, Hajja Zurira Ibrahim, has worked to secure funding to repair some of these roads which have been neglected for years. And uh, this is where I come from. Um, talking about roads, yes. I recall posing a couple of questions. I think there was a day I stood on my feet on the floor of parliament and I asked the minister for roads, about 13 different roads in this constituency. And when government was going to repair and build those routes because they were in very ter terrible shape and it was affecting the welfare of the people especially the women who travel on these routes on every market day they are running around looking for their daily livelihoods so when it's makango market on wednesday they are there it's Yeji Market. They are still traveling on the Makango Road to cross the Volta Lake to Yeji. They are going to Kumdi Market. They are going to Kafaba Market. You know, this is women business. So road is women business. That's how I consider it. And maybe that is one of the main reasons I prioritized road development in all my activities. You would have seen for yourself how much work we've had to do. And the day the equipment arrived, I said to Chief Limuna that we are turning Salaga into a huge construction site because we had everything. We had the grader, we had the payloader, we had the excavator, we had the tipper tracks, we had the roller, the one that compacts, make sure that the gravel is compacted. And then, of course, we had the trailers that carried the equipment to and fro. And indeed, we had an excavator to do some work on some dams within the... So, in the last two weeks, I think Salaga was a huge construction site. And thanks to Almighty Allah, we were able to cover a lot of ground. We worked on the uh, Salaga Kulpi Road, uh, all the way to Namu, as you would have seen. We worked on the Nkwanta... Uh, Kunkwa to Mabun Road. We worked on Katanga to Mbaupe to Nikata Road. And um, we, 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 we did the Kwembi Dump as well. So once the roads are good and more trouble, we are not saying they are asphalted. Ideally, they should be tarred. But for now, that is what we can get. So the then road minister answered my question and said that the year 2023 was going to be the year of roads. So we all waited in anticipation for money to salvage the Kafaba road because the 2022 torrential rains had threatened to cut off the people of Kafaba from Salaga. And there was no way we could sit down and allow that. So the office of the MP had to source funds to rent um, a greater and the excavator and the um, and tipper tracks to make sure that we restored the road to into a more trouble state so for now i can say that we have done a lot there's still a lot left to be done and uh, i was still having a conversation with Alaji this morning to see how what we can do more to help the people and so so far as the issue of the Salaga constituency roads are concerned. It's work in progress. We are continuing. Residents and leaders have expressed their gratitude for the MP's efforts. 
kashin ten na ajia mole anyebe e MP kadiri. Ne enda anda yili to hunkanga e anye sham. Ne mwale was musa ne yo e ka yumba bale e nying anye bichisu. E ka nying anye su emunkin anye su. Nanye kule bware. Ku vote nanye shana nan vote Ne ebware sumosa and se yon mamang ba sa ne ya nye tutu e ka nye tutu a kwoto kuse kachetene cha nye tiri a kwoto kumuna kuchulu benamba a musambe kule ebware ga a samu ne ebware yirbu mwoni shitu ne kafiri ne ba ne yon mamang ba ba yon kamba ne a nye kekebe ka nukuse nanye sha a yubu kwa te be mbiya muso me kyormu ga Ebore chamoto, ebore chamoto. Anya ba na mbiyo so ebore ne etamu mwarani biya noto. Anchor muga dimo pa eba chana ukatani loa ukatani tiso. Kumu kuchor me chor muga. Muso se ebore tal barukumu ta ebore sene na anga kuiti mbaka shato mpya mbaka shato na mwagbo eba mbaka shato ni baka shigeto idi pe. MPs upon MPs in Salaga South constituency, some who were regional ministers, some were given very juicy position, and we expected them to execute some of this food. Unfortunately, they've not been able to live up to expectation. And for Hajia, as an opposition MP, to start projects like this shows that she has the people at heart. And anytime we come here for a meeting, it was one of the concerns that they put across to the member of parliament. And she has lived to expectation. She promised to put up something of this nature to help them, and she's been able to deliver uh, the project. Uh, we have medical equipment. We've seen a delivery bed. We've seen uh, medical supplies that are to support the healthcare needs of the prison. So what happens is that now, if an, a prison inmate is not well, this is the first aid center for the person. You will be treated here. If the case is serious, then the person is being transferred to the municipal uh, hospital and the other portion of the structure is a tailoring shop a spokesperson for the Leporas Palace in Kwembi also acknowledged the MP's contribution, highlighting that the intervention will significantly benefit agricultural production in the area. We've been looking for help that will consider that will like dredge it like this so that it will collect water and the dressing will get a lot of water to do our dressing in farming. But so many times we try so many avenues, nothing is coming. Uh, until when Asia came, we just proposed to her just less than a week. She promised coming to give us this help. And exactly so, it has happened. Less than a week, we saw machines coming. Uh, that they have come to help us drag it like this. But because of the rain season, they say they could not finish the whole thing. At least they will do something like this to show that it's a start. And dry season, they will come and push it back to make it a very big dam. So that so many, you see all this place is very good for dry season farming for vegetables like tomatoes, okra and everything, even onions. We are planning to farm it here. Now that we have gotten this, we are very sure that in the dry season we will get a lot of people around this area so that we we'll get vegetables. Now that we've gotten this, we thank God, we thank Asia, and may God richly bless her. In addition to her work on the roads, Hajia Zuera has been involved in several other developmental projects across the constituency, including education and health. All right. My name is Dr. Abdulwaris Abdullah, medical officer at the Salaga Municipal Hospital Maternity Ward. Um, I think in the year 2023, when I arrived in this facility, our maternity ward was in a deplorable state, um, but with the support of Honorable Haji Azuera, the MP for Salaga South. Um, this um, maternity facility has been upgraded. Uh, we had issues with our fans and the um, windows. We had issues with the paintings. The ward has been adapted by her 
and she has upgraded it. And all the pregnant women we see in this particular world, um, at the end of their stay, they are very happy and they give gratitude to all the donors who have helped in um, promoting this particular world. It has also facilitated our work because all the um, hygienic conditions we need our patients to stay in and receive proper health care are with us. This is a 10-seater ICT lab that has been facilitated through the lobbying skills of Honorable Ajiazura Ibrahima, the MPs of Salagata. We were in school one day when she visited, and during her visit, one of our challenges was about ICT. Most of our people do not have access to quality ICT. So we laid a complaint to her, and through her effort, she was able to lobby through ATC Ghana. And today, we are having this 10-seater ICT center that helps the student. Those who are not able, who have not seen computers before today, have, are able to see computer and touch it and feel it. Initially, it has, it's always about what? Theoretical. But now, with this 10-seater ICT, our children have the opportunity to do the practical aspect of what? the ICT. So we send our gratitude, our thanks to Honorable Ajazu Mohamed Ibrahim, the MP for Salagasa, for this great word, gesture. We hope and pray that the constituents, we are very grateful for her, and the constituents in Salagasa constitu constituency are going to vote massively for Honorable Ajazu Mohamed Ibrahim and the incoming president, John Dramani Mohamed. <laughs> Nakamukashintunto, <laughs> Check and check and check and can cabona any nutu. Nan kutle cash into a number nutuna any bo kabuneri kabune batrakumo kanyase. To so neba bitin yo kachuko lantasana any hon rabu a jazura e shinababa bunumuna mbo kuru boho len sani. Cash in tento bale boho la baba kachetamu kurasa any na ny bimbia manakele fasha. Kuka ilin fere and kula nyba jiazura so nemen ji empiba. Cash in toto katrasaba. Any bon fa a fantamba a kumon kwani. The afuka truso bich do a crase croso. Common baba ka jo, ayaka water nanya nya fanta, mbuni namba yo yon yin kwe milk shakama, katrasoba, a de chany to, and kula nybu wandu che ajiazu rasu. Kashin turn to kachita bre, e kwany na kachita kha alan kumwale mwamulwani. Because bakata kunumuna sa nybu e kwembi besabuna eden sanya kachetana, kashin tuntu emu washen kamotan sanyi. Bora Jazura, Mobomba Molawani, Nanyamna Votu Muba, Nyo, yo, to Lumbatam Naba, Nebum Bambashina, Ambora, Pusin Sani, Luso, Animuka and the Kenani de Ebor Nanyata, Atrum. Animu Honorable Ajazura, one do Chibri. I knew Pembiche, Kemenu Pembi Dabba Dowley, I knew Constitution Kabuchi. Beshamania, I'm Bunkoso, I knew Kabuku Bumbum Bruko for Fresh Ekama, Ekama Nakumbukishi de Kuliri, and then Manaji Azura. A major mamma shabum bassa, you know. Dama Muraji Azura, Monantin win election now, and your parliament. Airborne is when I run your cousin cannot choke a A lot of MPs have come here for campaign and will complain for them that we don't have network. Even with some, sometimes we can just clan on the tree to make a call. This day, our mother came here, that was uh, the year 2020. But we complain to her that we need a network. We don't have network here. But surely he assured us that he, he, she will come here and give us network. But she done that for us. 
even these days we can be in the room to make a call and we have seen that she died a lot here so that is why i'm just telling everybody in this congregation that you can just vote for our mother to win again so that anything that we need here will get by the grace of our god almighty